Hi, it's Eleanor, and as Christmas is coming up, I thought I'd share with you the books which I've accumulated um, over the past few weeks in the run-up to Christmas. Despite having put myself on a book buying ban, I seem to have bought four books over the last couple of months. Um, whoops, I guess. I got James Joyce, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, when I was in Paris recently. Um, I talked all about my experience in Paris and a specific bookshop which I went to, Shakespeare and Company, in a recent video I did. So this is about a young man and his quest for identity in Dublin through art. It's basically a self-portrait of Joyce himself. Um, it, I've never read any James Joyce before so I'm really really interested to see what he's like and if I enjoy this hopefully read some more. He's a member of the Lost Generation which also segue so is Ernest Hemingway I got this this is um, for whom the bell tolls by Ernest Hemingway I'm not entirely sure what this book is about but apparently it's the best book that Hemingway has written um, it's got lots of good you know it's very he's very very famous again I haven't read any of his works but hopefully I do really really want to I got this at a charity shop for a couple of quid which is a really good deal and I'm really really happy with this um, and I will let you know what I think when I read it the next two books were non-fiction, and so that was kind of my excuse for buying them because they're non-fiction and non-fiction, that's how I got around my ban. I don't know, it worked for me I guess because I bought them, but the first book was, um, it's basically a book about Frida Kahlo. So I'm really really interested in Frida Kahlo, last year I studied one of her paintings um, which was a self-portrait between America and Mexico or something along the lines of that, and I found her so so interesting. Um, and so this is basically... It, it kind of gives her history, it, gives, uh, it talks about specific paintings that she's done. And she's had such an interesting life when she was, I think, 17 or something. She was in a bus accident which, you know, she had to be in hospital for ages and um, she couldn't have children after it. Um, and that's when she turned to painting and she just paints a lot of self-portraits but they're just absolutely beautiful. Um, she's Mexican and... It's such a, she's such an interesting artist and I can't wait to find out more about her through this book. And finally the last book I got is a book on Egyptian art. So I got this when I was in the British Museum. They recently had an ex exhibition on the sunken treasures in kind of um, around Egypt. So these two cities um, they'd been completely covered in water and, recent, and the exhibition was kind of documenting all the sculptures um, and art and everything like that which they had found. Um, from these two cities and it was very very interesting because I didn't know much about that and I don't know much about Egypt anyway um, and so this book on Egyptian art I think it's going to be so interesting I love art, I love Greek and Roman art and I think just something different um, with Egypt kind of will help broaden my knowledge so those are the four books which I bought recently um, let me know if you've read any or have any suggestions if you like Joyce or Hemingway um, and I will hopefully see you soon after Christmas, goodbye